Well, if you're an irrigation designer, GCAD Plus has several tools to assist you in doing that work. The first of them is that GCAD Plus allows you to place a grid over the design. So if we now use the distance tool, and we'll measure from one intersection to another, may be able to see that the grid is currently set to a 10 meter grid. This is a design for the metric area. So let's turn the grid off, but before we do so, can you see that the symbols representing full circle sprinklers and representing half circle sprinklers are placed at grid points? Certainly the full circle ones are. The half circles are placed where you need them. Clearly they can't be in the middle of the paths, so they have to be moved a little. So the grid helps in laying your sprinkler system out. Let's turn off the grid now, and let's have a look at another tool which may help. There's these dark blue lines through here represent lines of irrigation supply and we want to be able to total up those lines for subsequent bill of materials. The most useful tool to do that is add up length. Let's imagine we'll take a trickier example. You can see here that the 40 stroke 9 water supply starts over here at this control valve. So let's use that tools and add up length and we'll start here and we'll work our way around to the point where we've got all of the pipes of capacity 40 stroke 9 selected. They stop there and I hit the enter key. That's totaled up that length of piping. It's done it in drawing units, which is millimetres in this case. So we need to shift our decimal point by three and we probably want to round that off to say 82.48 and we'll say OK and then we can mark that wherever we want but there's a piece of text you might want to edit that text and add um, as i have done in this example here 20.38 meters of 25 stroke 9 so you can edit that text so that gives you information on lengths of pipes but of course you want to store information on the type and number of say full sprinklers you want to um, find and store information on um, on these control valves and for that we have what's called extended entity so if you go to GCAD plus and extended data you can store extended entity with any entity and uh, let's turn on ENT switch down in the status line show or hide entity data and if I move over to this one here you can see as I let the mouse hover over it we're told that that's irrigation size 14, cost $12.50, the manufacturer is Toro, and the product name is a full circle 640 series radius. The same applies to some of these valves over here have had extended data associated with them. I can say highlight those entities with extended data. So this symbol, um, which let's move our window down a little, select that symbol it's called a solenoid valve assembly and you can see that it's also uh, from Toro it's a solenoid valve kit what we now want to do in order to extract all of this information that we add as extended data we want to propagate that information so if I go CK plus GK plus rather propagate the stored data let's come back over here to that full circle symbol which we know has extended data so the prompt says select the entity with extended data so I do that then hit the enter key and down in the status line it tells me entity data has been propagated so now as we move our cursor over here the irrigation extended data has been propagated right through the whole drawing so that gives us the ability to store data with one symbol propagated across to all instances of that symbol and then via GCAT plus and extended data I can extract that data to a CSV file and then bring it into Excel 
and work with it. So I can get my bills of materials from uh, AGCAD Plus drawing using these sorts of tools.